welcome to the vlog today. Uh, I'm heading up to, I'm actually heading up north, heading up to Gary Goff's studio uh, tonight. Gary Goff's another landscape uh, photography vlogger and a very good one as well actually. So I recommend that you check out his channel. Um, and in his studio, uh, Tom Heaton's going to be there. He's doing a talk. Uh, Tom Heaton, another really like well-known YouTube vlogger. I'm sure you've heard of him. And yeah, and a lot of other um, of my fellow landscape photography vloggers are going to be there. So it's going to be quite good to actually meet quite a few guys. I've, I've spoken to them online, but I've never actually met anyone. So I'm quite looking forward to that. And I thought, you know what? While I'm going up there, I might as well make a day of it. So that's my plan. So I think I've found somewhere today that's a bit of a hidden gem. Uh, very few YouTube vloggers, uh, landscape photography vloggers, have actually been here. So I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised when I get there. It's uh, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a really cool place. I'm really surprised that so few people have actually seen it. But yeah, it's going to be excellent. Side note, if you drive a BMW and your registration is KX63KOU, I think that's it, you drive like an absolute pillar. Honestly, get from up the guy in front's arse and drop back a bit because you're just dangerous. As I said, I'm here somewhere where I don't think hardly any vloggers have been before and I'm really excited to be here. I'm at a place called Lady Bower Reservoir. Never heard of it? No, I'm not surprised. It's, it's a hidden gem. I don't think, I think I can safely say that I don't think I've seen a single vlog on this place. It's amazing. You wouldn't have thought it, would you? <laughs> Seriously, go. Uh, on my way up to uh, Elland tonight, I've decided to stop off here at Lady Bower Reservoir. Um, it's somewhere I've, I've always fancied coming, but I've never got around to doing it. Uh, it looks great. I've parked up at the far end of the reservoir where the dam is. The dam is absolutely mad. It's flowing like crazy i think it's uh all the rain that's been uh, around the country lately it's absolutely mental so um first stop is the dam i'm going to try and get some shots of it probably gonna probably gonna be close up ones i don't think i'm gonna do like a shot of the entire dam but it's just mad it's great anyway so that's first on the list coming off this thing is absolutely mad and it's so it's so noisy so what I'm going to try and do uh, I'm going to turn this way you're going to get sprayed now whoop disappearing them slightly what I'm going to try and do here is I'm going to try and take some shots of the red life uh, life ring what's it called I don't know what it's called the red life thing thing and try and take some shots of that up against the power of the water to see if I can get something. So we'll see how that goes. So what I've done for this shot is I've got the uh, the life boy ring, whatever it is, in the bottom third, on the left hand third, and then just got the jet of water, just got the rushing water behind it. 
just to try and show some power. Uh, I haven't got any filters on otherwise, other than the polarizer. Uh, so it's just literally, I think, uh, let me check the settings. So I'm shooting, so I'm shooting at a 20th of a second, which is not milking out that water dropping down, it's leaving it quite rough and uh, I'm very showing force. And then what I'll probably do in post is I'll probably really contrast, like make it a really contrasty image, desaturate everything other than the red of the rim and then really bring out the force of the water. It's a lovely place here, uh, the dam's great. It's taking a lovely little walk through the woods, but the light's really very poor now. It's, uh, it's gone very flat. Uh, I'm not hopeful it's gonna come back either. So I think what I might do is uh, I might head on up a bit further north. There's a waterfall up north that I wanna go and have a look at called Grit Stock. I've got a shot or two in. I'm a bit disappointed that the light's so flat, really. But I'm gonna leave here, head up to Goitstock, see if the light and the weather improves. And even if it doesn't, the fact it's a waterfall will make it a lot easier to take shots. So from Lady Bower, the hidden gem of the Peak District, I'm gonna say bye, but I'll be back, hopefully, at Goitstock. to realise is that you, you need to, photography is like many other things, you need to keep handy, you need to keep doing it, because if you stop, you become out of practice and it's almost like you can't see the shots so well. There were probably shots down there that I missed, that I could have taken. It's one of those things I think, you've just got to keep doing it, you've, you've got to keep photographing, you've got to keep practising. You never master it, that's for sure, no matter how good you are. Right, change of plan. I was going to go to um, Goitstock, but looking at it, it's an hour and a half drive, and it's already two o'clock. So instead of that, I'm going to go to somewhere else that I was considering going before and have not been to yet in the Peak District, which is Surprise View. So I've arrived at Surprise View, and I'm not gonna lie, it's nothing like I was expecting. To get it. To get it. Surpri Surprise View, to get it. Never mind. Anyway, <laughs> I'm here at Surprise View, and the weather's crap, let's be honest. It's a bit windy, it's gray, it's horrible. There's no light anywhere. But, I don't care, because actually it's quite nice up here. The weather's turned pretty horrible, but uh, I'm gonna stick around because I can see a break coming up in the clouds uh, over on the far horizon where the worst of the weather's coming from. 
I am going to take a shot of this tree. It's a really gnarly, really lovely, characterful tree. And with those uh, rocks in the background, it might look quite nice. I'll probably do my standard panorama on it, to be honest with you, um, and see where we go. But uh, yeah, I tell you what, this weather's better than no weather, definitely. I'd rather have rain and clouds and everything changing than clear blue skies or complete blanket gray. That's the weather well and truly closed in and that's me well and truly finished I think for this shot and this day. I've had a really good day you know, the weather hasn't been great but I've really enjoyed it here. It's a uh, surprise view, it's been good, Lady Bower Reservoir was good, the bits I saw of it. The weather's beaten me I think unfortunately. The pictures might turn out well, I mean you can make a judge of that but I'm not 100% sure. Look, you know what sometimes you have these days, some days you just can't shoot. You want to shoot, but you just can't. And anyone who tells you you can take shots in any weather, well, good shots in any weather, they're either lying to you or they're trying to sell you something. Everyone has bad days. I've had a great day out though. <laughs> it's been brilliant. So, I don't, look, who cares? Who cares, really? Who cares about the photos at the end of the day? I guess you do, and that's why you're watching the Hello? Holy <laughs> I've run the battery out. Uh, I've, ran my, I've ran my GoPro out, so last bit will be in pitch blackness. Look, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm off now to uh, see Tom Heaton and a few fellow vloggers, and I hope that that will be an enjoyable event. I'm sure it will. Thanks for watching. Thank you to the new subscribers. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you on the next vlog.